Hey, it's Anfa, and you're watching a little live stream tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create a radio transmission effect for a voice line. So, for example, if you could be making a movie or some radio show you or a podcast, you might want to have some vocal lines sound like they're being transmitted over a radio. Uh, so, today I'm going to show you a few simple and maybe a bit less simple things that you can do to make a recorded voice sound like it's being transmitted through radio. Um... All right, so here is my Ardor session. It's a blank one, except for one track where I've recorded two vocal takes. Uh, I'm gonna play them to you now. Now, wait a minute. It's not streaming the sound from. Uh, okay, that's very weird. Uh, why is there no? Okay, I don't know. Maybe this one. Remember, Fox. But no, that's not the one. Why is it not labeled? Maybe that's the one. From the van. Okay, I hit it. I hit it. I don't know why the captions are not there. Anyway, let's hear the source material. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha 2020. Do copy. And the faster version. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha 2020. Do copy. I didn't really shout that out properly. Um because uh, it's quite late and I don't want to startle my neighbors and make them call the police on me. So it's not very great acting, but it's a source material that we can use. Okay, so um, the first thing I want to do is think about the frequency response. When you normally use like a communication, radio communication system, it's usually using very small speakers which have limited frequency response. They're not gonna reproduce the low frequencies or the high frequencies very well. The high frequencies, maybe the speaker probably could reproduce the high frequencies very well, but usually the radio transmission itself is like limiting the bandwidth because it only requires so much to uh, transmit intelligible speech. So to simulate that, I'm gonna use uh, a stock ardor plugin, which is called a high pass, high low pass filter, which is a very useful plugin that has two filters inside. So, uniform November Foxtrot. We can have a high pass filter that will cut off the low frequencies. Alpha two zero two zero two. The copy. I'm gonna turn on auto return so that uniform. I don't have to rewind my transport every time uniform november foxtrot okay so that's the lows this is the tiny speaker now we need to cut the highs uniform november foxtrot alpha 202 because well uniform november tiny radios usually don't transmit a lot of high frequencies uniform november uniform november maybe we can make it a little bit more tinny uniform november foxtrot alpha 2020 do copy Okay, I think that's um, that's going to be good. And that's like the most basic thing you can do to make something sound like it's from a radio or even played from a phone in a, in a film. Now, another thing is usually the microphone itself that um, the signal is recorded with, it's probably very close to the mouth of whoever is speaking and they're probably saying a little loud and it's probably going to distort a bit. So what I'm going to do is add plugin wolf shaper which is a very nice distortion plugin that lets us create our own distortion curve now what this will do Uniform. is allow us to simulate the overloading of the microphone and maybe even the output speaker uh, so let's change this curve Uniform November. 
I want to have more input levels. So I'm going to use the pre-gain knob to make this louder. Uniform, November. And we're starting to hear a little bit of saturation. Let's crank it up more. Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha, 2020. Okay, that's better, but still not too much. However, Uniform. the output is getting loud, so I'm going to turn down the post gain. Uniform. Uniform. So it's not going to deafen us. Unif and enable get more pre gains. Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha. Okay, let's crank it up even more. Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha, 2020. Do copy. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now, maybe we should just use uh, a different plugin to amplify the levels before. And we could do that. Let's search for an amplifier. And there is a plugin called A-Amplifier, which is a stock amplifier plugin. It's just extremely simple. What it does is just gives us more volume or less. So I'm going to crank this up. 10 decibels of gain. Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha, 2020, do copy. Now that's better. Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha. I think we can go all the way here. Uniform. And now back off a little bit in Wolf Shaper. Uniform. Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha, 2020, do copy. <laughs> mm. All right. Now... Another effect that might help us uh, sell the illusion is using a hard gate. What a hard gate does is it cuts off every sound sample that is quieter than a given threshold. And I would normally use a separate plugin, but we can do the same thing with Wolf Shaper. We just need to add another point to our curve. Oh wait, this point just went to a different place. Well, okay, uh, then I need to do this to recreate our curve. Let's listen if this sounds the same. Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha, 2020. Pretty okay. Now I'm going to move this point here. So we have a, a flat part in the beginning. So this is where quiet sounds are. Uniform, November. And they're going to be cut off. Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha. And that's the sound of a radio transmission being cut off because the signal is not strong enough. Because the demodulator and the radio receiver just cannot pick up enough signal to actually decode anything. Uniform November. Uniform November. Foxtrot Alpha 2-0. Uniform November. Now we could introduce some more weird distortion, like add a little point here and just make this curve a little bit strange. Uniform November. Foxtrot Alpha. And it gives us a little bit of grit. We can also make this gating, hard gating, a little bit more smooth out, so it's not... Uniform, November, Fox... Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha, 2020. Okay, I think that's good. So, you see, the signal path is, first, we're amplifying the signal, so it's our... our uh, the, the guy who's, who's saying the message. Then we have Wolf Shaper, which simulates the distortion in the microphone of his radio transmitter. Then we have low pass and band pass filtering to simulate the um, both the limited bandwidth of the radio transmission and also the small speaker. Actually, we could make this high pass steeper. Okay. We could also make the high pass steeper as well. Uh, sorry, the low pass. All right. Now I have a few more ideas of how we could improve it. It already sounds pretty good. And if you played Quake 2, this might already sound a lot like the, the voice messages you get when you, when you play the game. They maybe had a little bit more high frequencies in them. Yeah. Mm. Now, all uh, audio equipment introduces noise, and cheap radio equipment that's usually operating in suboptimal conditions is probably going to generate a lot of noise. So let's add some noise. Now, how I usually do it is with a plugin. 
So let's add a plugin. Let's search for noise. Mm. Tap pink slash fractal noise is what I use most of the time. So let's add it in. And you see here we have a control of the signal and the noise. We can add noise. Now fractal dimension. Uh, this basically controls the color of the noise. The higher the, the dimension, the lower the overall frequency, the less high frequencies you have. So uh, this is probably like a brown noise, noise or pink noise. And this is more like white noise. We could be somewhere in the middle. Now the problem with this is that it's going to play all all the time. Uh, and we don't want that. We want to only have this noise when the message is being transmitted. And there's a few ways that we can tackle that. We could uh, use automation to like change the noise level, or we can use a gate plugin to cut off the sound uh, when the transmission is over. So let's maybe try that. So I'm gonna turn on the noise and I'm going to add LSP gate. We could use the mono variation because we're operating on a mono signal. Okay, so the gate is uh, a dynamics processor that see, searches if the signal is below a threshold. I'm now moving the threshold up. Now the signal is below threshold. So if I increase the reduction, uh, that's going to cut off completely. There's also attack and release controls. If we remove this to zero, it's going to become a hard gate like the previous thing, but I don't want that. I want it to have a little bit of attack and a little bit of release because we don't want it to cut off in between every single sample. So let's play it and see how it sounds. Okay, it's... Sounds pretty okay, but we could have more release so it doesn't um, so it doesn't cut off the noise between the words. Alright, it could also start maybe a bit faster. Doesn't happen. Doesn't... Alright, this is pretty okay. I'm gonna just watch the signal. All right, I think this is pretty good. However, the order of processing is a bit weird because we're adding the noise after we have simulated the speaker. Um, and that's not right because the noise has, uh, basically it has low frequencies that are not reproducible by the speaker we are trying to uh, simulate here. So I'm going to move the noise source and the gate oh. above the filter. Okay, I need to do this one by one. So now we have uh, the source, distortion on the microphone, transmission adding noise, uh, cutting off the noise when the transmission has stopped, and then the speaker. All right, that's pretty good. A little problem I have is that the gate actually, you can hear the gate um, slowly cutting off. So maybe instead of that, in increasing the release time, I would r lower the release threshold. sure I'm trying to like make it um, close the gate when the signal reaches okay I think it doesn't work like that okay it doesn't doesn't really work like that I think. okay so we need to increase the release time Unifor. 
But what we can do uh, is use compression to kind of even out the loudness of everything and also push the noise into uh, the voice itself and emphasize it, which I think is also an effect of radio transmission at all. Like usually there is some compression. So I'm going to use uh, a compressor. The default one is a mono version. And uh, let's use it before, after the gate. All right, so this is the default uh, or stock RO compressor. I'm going to lower the threshold and lower the release time and the attack time. Now we can move up the makeup gain. Oh, that's too much. All right, I think we could have a lot, a bit more high frequency in the noise. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> this is getting pretty pretty good, pretty convincing, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> now, we could uh, also simulate the reverberation of the environment that the um, voice is being transmitted from. So if it's a pilot in a plane cabin, there's going to be a weird tinny reverb in there, right? Um, there could also be like, you know, noises of engines and, and other stuff. But we're not going to simulate that here. I don't have these noises prepared. We could... Or maybe we could do that. <laughs> Let me know in the chat if you want to make jet noise in the background. Because <laughs> we can do it. I think I have an idea how to do that pretty easily. Uh, <clears throat> All right, so let's add the reverb effect. Maybe I'm going to add it uh, right before the Wolf Shaper plugin. So I'm cl right clicking there and let's go Dragonfly. Early reflections could be really good for this. Um, okay. Now we're using, we're processing everything in mono. You can see that the noodles here, we have one channel coming into the Dragonfly reverb and one noodle coming out, another noodle being cut off. This is because we have a single channel, you see one, uh, this track is only one channel and it's also set to strict I.O. which means it's not going to split the signal into stereo when the when plugging out with stereo. If I disable this you see our Dragonfly early reflections splits the signal into stereo and then it passes on as stereo signal. But we don't want that, we want to keep it mono because the transmission is not in stereo, <laughs> it's in mono. Okay. All right, that's way too much early reflections. Also, I'm going to turn up the original sound level up. These are different uh, reflection configurations. So it's like different presets, entirely different sounds. You can also tweak it, tweak them with the size, width, and high pass, low pass, low pass, high pass, low pass. Yes, uh, low cut, high cut. But these are entirely different sounds. All right, I think it's pretty okay. Mm. Another thing uh, that could be useful is we could simulate some interference in the radio transmission because usually radios work as amplitude modulation or frequency modulation. And amplitude modulation is very similar to ring modulation. So... <laughs> We can add some ring modulation effect to simulate something not working perfectly in there. Let's maybe add this to the signal after distortion. Yes, so this is the microphone capturing stuff. This is the transmission, adding noise and ring modulation. Jean-Marie Favreux, I don't know. Uh, 
uh, asks, what about an automation of the noise level to simulate variations over time? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Mm. So I'm trying, for now I'm trying to like make it so that we don't have to do anything on the timeline and everything just works. How, whatever, how many, however many lines we want to record, we can just drop them onto this track, add, you know, markers here, name them, export files, and we have sound effects for our game, movie, or whatever. And we don't have to play with the automation. We could, of course, and make this better, but I want to, so far I want to, like, try and keep it as mm, self-sustainable as possible. No manual work required after setting up the effects. And we could also try and make an effect that would, like, automatically change the amplitude of the noise or... Um, the calf ring modulator has some LFOs. We could try and use them. Let's open it up and see what we can do. Well, that's quite um, harsh. I, I think the frequency is not better, best. All right, that sounds more like digital transmission artifacts. There's quite a lot of it. I'm going to tame it down. Now, we could also enable these LFOs. I'm a bit... Uh, I'm not super sure if it's a good idea. Wait, so it's detune. Okay, so that's tiny drifting, okay. And this is more like a uh, very... Yeah, analog radio do stuff like that. They, they do swell uh, with the frequencies. Like, I, I do hear such effects in radios uh, sometimes, or I did when I used radios. There's also another LFO we could use. Some modulator amounts. So could... I think we could use less of that. And we could also copy this and make it like add another layer of that stuff. Maybe even after the noise. Uh, change up the frequency. Change up the f LFO speeds and the frequency rate. Oh, well, um. all right. Mm. Arthur Oliveira Race says, <laughs> I'm impressed how many plugins are being used for this. Yeah, you would think such a simple thing, huh? Make things sound like a radio. Well, you, you can have uh, an understandable or recognizable effect with just a bandpass filter, but if you want a convincing effect, then there, it's much more involved, as you can see. We're having quite a few things here happening already. And he also says, uh, Anfa, maybe use B-Shaper for amplitude. I don't know if B-Shaper can randomize stuff and... Uh, I think I might need to split off the noise into its separate bus so we can mix it in, uh, but have more control over the frequencies uh, of it and, and, and all the stuff and amplitude. Huh. Let's see, what else do I have uh, on my on my list in out noise? Yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, Mm, yeah, I think that whatever else is to be done is requires manual work. So we could try and maybe like automate the amount of noise. Let's add a track, tap pink fractal noise level in decibels. Okay, negative 40. I'm going to switch it to right and play on both ends. Okay, now if I click and press shift, I'm going to move the point without... Uh, changing its value. 
switch to draw and a useful thing we might need is go to edit preferences editor and select ignore y-axis click position when adding new automation points this will make that if we click wherever is going to insert the point on the line so we don't have to manually like make sure that the value is right oh oh i think i need to press shift before okay let's uh try and add some more noise here <laughs> all right We can also add the um, nice bur noise bursts in, in front and in the end of the message. So I'm going to disable snapping to grid because nothing about this actually needs to be snapped to grid. And let's try and make a spike of noise. Uniform. Okay, that doesn't sound good because it's, uh, it sounds like a percussive hit. Uniform. All right, it's a little bit loud. It's a little bit painful and a bit long, so I'm going to... Also cut this short so the noise doesn't like um nah. shift and then move. Okay, okay. Uh, now let's try it. I think I need to move them a little bit. Shift, click, drag, okay. We can also make the noise like swell up in in the end of the message, so it's like the radio is not picking up enough signal and it starts, it tries to like demodulate something that isn't there and uh, creates this bunch of noise. And now the gate should kick off, but we can also like manually kill the noise, <laughs> if you know what I mean, and uh, just go way down to zero. Well, I think that sounds pretty cool. Uh, or so we could cut this so it, we make sure it doesn't go through. I have another idea of what we could improve. Like if you if you have a microphone up to your face, there's gonna be pop noise or pop. Uh, I have a pop filter in this, so a wind or a windshield, but such microphones usually don't. And what we can do to actually simulate that is use an EQ to boost the low frequencies that are present in the signal. So I'm going to right click and go, what can we use? Uh, EQ. Oh, A EQ. Ardor's stock EQ plugin. Oh no, that's the Harrison EQ. I don't want to use that then. I I forgot to remove them. Uh, let's use EQ 10Q. Mono version. All right. Mm. Now. Oh, it doesn't work in this build of Ardor because uh, because of the GTK libraries mismatch. Yeah, that's a problem with EQ 10Q. Okay, what else EQs we can have? X42 EQ. It's open source and it's really nice, though it costs quite a lot of money. But it's pretty cool. All right, do we have a shelf? Yes, we have a low shelf. Okay, can we make it snappier? We can. Can we have spectrum analysis? Yes. Post, I want pre or post, okay. Let's try and make this. Okay, that's. I'm not sure if it works as. Uh, as I intended. Try, try and boost the very, very lows. I think I should maybe mute all the plugins. So I'm going to right-click AB Plugins. 
Let's listen. Uniform November. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha Two Zero. Okay, that's not gonna work because it's just boosting the tone of my voice and not any pops that could have been there. Or Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha Two Zero Two Zero. Do you copy. Okay, the P was okay. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha Two Zero Two Zero. Do you copy. Ah, uh, it's tough. I think I wouldn't have to use a multiband gate to actually properly emphasize that automatically. Or we could maybe automate something and boost this manually. Uniform. But I would go for a higher frequency, I think. Uh, okay. Uniform November. Uniform November. Uniform November. Uniform November. Okay, you know, let's reset this. Mm. Let's see, can I right click? Yes, I can right click. Okay. Uh, Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha 202. I can also simulate the proximity effect by making the lows. Uniform November Foxtrot. I can also make this highs harsh. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha. Uniform. Oh, we can simulate a nasty resonance in the microphone capsule because it's a cheap one. Nasty resonances, yes. Yes, my dude. Absolutely nasty resonances, lots of them. Uniform November. Okay, maybe that's a bit excessive. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha 2020. Maybe some notches. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha 2020, do copy. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha 2020, do copy. Uniform November. Okay, um, let's now enable back all everything else and he listen. Uniform. Holy snap, that's loud and painful. I'm going to turn down the compressor makeup gain. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha 2020, do copy. All right, I think we have too much. Reverb. Let's see. Uniform. Yes. Uniform November. It gets muddied. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha two zero two zero do copy. Copy. Okay, I think it's pretty okay. I'm. I think we don't need to automate it. This do you copy? We can also try and record something. Now s sometimes. Oh wait. Nah, uh, yeah, you, you would probably hear me twice. Sometimes a very good way to get crappy sound is to just use a crappy microphone. And if I have some some bad quality earbuds, like these ones, maybe we can use them to record uh, a signal that will give us more authenticity in this whole ordeal. Okay. Uh, so we have a tiny little jack. I am going to unplug my headphones now. Can't hear anything. And that's to salvage an adapter. Now I have the headphones plugged into the adapter. And now I am going to unplug one of the microphones. Yep. Okay, you probably heard a loud, loud click. Now I'm going to plug it in. So watch out. It's going to be loud. Okay. Um, I think I broke them. Okay. Uh, also, I have uh, successfully put them into a dish. Uh, they are now 
embellished with oil. Okay. Warning, I'm plugging in a microphone. So, all right, the, the idea of recording with a crappy microphone didn't quite work out. However, I have a headphones, pair of headphones on my head. I can use them. Uh, because, as you might realize, every microphone is a speaker and every speaker is a microphone. Okay, I'm unplugging it again. Watch out! Plugging another... Oh, the cable. Give me more cable, okay? Three, two, one. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, wait. Um, or oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I forgot I had them padded. Uh, I mean, the signal was quieter than it should be. This would be 20 decibels louder, I guess. Okay, let's listen to it anyway. Holy snap, it's loud. Uh, oh, because I turned my headphones away too much. Alright, the thing, first thing is, let's investigate the raw uh, signal. So I've bypa bypassed all the plugins. Uniform. Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha 2020, do copy. They are a pretty, pretty decent microphone. <laughs> Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha 2020, do copy. There's quite a lot of noise because of, of the, because I set the preamp to pad, which uh, ducks the sound, but also adds quite a lot of, mm, quite a lot of noise. So the noise is probably not the f problem of the headphones themselves. Uniform, November, Foxtrot, Alpha 2020, do copy. We have a little bit of more, more plosives. So... Uh, Let's now re-enable all the plugins, AB plugins, and let's hear it. Uniform November, Foxtrot Alpha 2020, copy. I think our EQ is too drastic now because they have some resonances on their own and we're also boosting the lows way too much, I think. Uniform November, Foxtrot Alpha 2020, copy. Uniform. All right. You know what? Let's copy our sweet little noise curve. Shift and move it. Uh, oh, okay, I'm going to truncate this recording so it starts with the noise burst and ends with the noise burst. Let's listen now. Uniform, November, Foxtrot. Okay, that's... Uh... Ah! Oh, okay, one thing. Edit preferences... Um. Move relevant automation when audio regions are moved. That might not always work best. That's what would happen. Like if you move audio regions, the automation will move with it. Not always great. I've just had a situation where it was unexpected and bad. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha two zero two zero two copy. Copy. Oh, I like this little click there. It's very nice. We could add some clicks. Not sure how. I mean, there's a bunch of plugins we could use. We could also use another tr track. So I am going to create an audio bus. Call it Crackle. We could do it in a single one, but I don't want to clutter it up too much. It's going to be way easier this way. So now let's generate some noise again. Tap pink fractal noise. Let's make it. Oh, do 
All right. Now let's add wolf sheeper again. Oh, what's going on? All right. And now we're making a hard gate. Which should... Oh, yeah. Give us some random clicks. If I make the fractal dimension... Okay, nice. Now we can, like... Oh, we could actually distort them right away. We're in here. Maybe even add a little bit of oversampling. I'm not sure if I hear a difference. And now we can send it... Uh, new insert. Insert. Nah. How do we send it there? External send. Auto tracks. Radio in. Uh. Uh. But, uh. That's only gonna work for aux send. Insert. I don't remember how inserts work. Oh, we're sending something out and it goes back. Okay, I don't send anything. Shite. I just want to get something back. All right. Is that going to work? I don't think we're getting... Oh, of course we're not because it's after fader. All right, but are we getting the signal here? Ah. Uh, oh, we're also getting this. Uh, it's fed right here. Not nice. Okay, I think this is not. Um, I think this is a bit more complex than I thought. Okay, you know what? Let gi let's give up with the crackle. Oh, what happened? Ah, all right. Yeah, this happened. Ah. Uh. Uniform November Foxtrot Alpha two zero two zero two copy. Let's copy this here as well. And uh, I'm going to ah shift then move. Okay. Shift. I always press shift too late. Also, I'm gonna cut this. And move this. Oh. Oh, we have a feedback loop. I'm going to remove this thing. This crackle. And we have no feedback. Oh my goodness, I'm removing an insert. It's gonna crash. No, <laughs> it's not gonna crash. All right, I would say that this is all for today. Uh, let's uh, leave the jet uh, noise for another time. Uh, basically, what I would do is make the noise and give it a few high pitched resonances with an EQ and mix it up with that. I think we can pass this on. This tutorial was supposed to be short and it's already 45 minutes. Wow. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's all. Thanks for watching, I guess. Um, I hope you've learned something. And uh, yeah. What else? Uh, oh, I know. I have uh, this where I can 
say things and show you the end screen things and also say that uh yeah mention patreon oh yes uh big thanks to all the people who support me on patreon uh, and on libera pay because that allows me to do these kind of videos and if you dear viewer would like to join them please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa uh, yeah and i'm working on a big order midi tutorial but it's big and it's taking me a lot time a long time so please be patient i'm working on it <laughs> it's gonna be out that's it, when it's done yeah thanks again and uh, have a good night bye